everyone and welcome back to another installment of Husker Hot Takes, a weekly production from the Daily Nebraskan in which a football beat reporter, this weekend it's myself, speaks with a general Daily Nebraskan staffer about Husker football. This week's guest is Evan Donlinger, who unfortunately, fortunately made the trip with us to Minneapolis this weekend yeah. uh, for that game of football is what it can best be described as so uh it definitely was a game of football <laughs> yeah I can give so you that. evan you were down on the sidelines taking mm-hmm. photos at uh huntington bank stadium now gotta oh, get yep. used to that what was that experience like for you it was um it wasn't great i will admit the the huskers immediately off the bat just showed very much lack of uh i guess motivation to be there yeah. it just like It just seemed like they were all tired and just didn't, like, they just weren't ready for the game, essentially. Yeah, um, definitely agree. The the, the lethargic start was was noticeable for sure throughout Mm -hmm. the first half, but in terms of like you know the 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 media experience the the pictures the stadium was that all that all that all up to expectation or up to standard? It was a good time. Like Minnesota is a beautiful state, and um, like it was so so cold like walking into the stadium and then like as soon as you were down there the sun reflecting off the astro turf was just like it like cozied me up a little bit and it was nice it yeah was a good setting for photos yeah it was a good setting for photos it definitely was not a good setting <laughs> for football for nebraska scott yeah. frost continues to struggle against pj fleck in their big 10 careers nebraska is now one in three against the golden gophers if you can believe that uh in frost's tenure with the lone win coming in 2018 frost first season so it's a three game losing streak against minnesota and yeah uh the biggest thing mm-hmm. of what we watched was a very slow start from nebraska and again lack of finished opportunities the huskers of course had four different opportunities down a score to either to take the lead basically because a, a field goal would have cut it to two yep very very disappointing uh, performance from nebraska in many facets of the game and it ultimately you know dooms them to a three and five record so were there any other takeaways i guess from a neutral non-sports writer perspective that uh, that you had from saturday aside from the slow start and the final score um i will say uh it's been shown for the past like multiple games, but Nebraska is very much a third quarter team, and that definitely showed in this game too. Because we, the first half, not a great half, and then the third quarter we kind of picked it up, and we, uh, Nebraska really just like started to show that we were a competitive football team, and then <laughs> yeah. Uh, they, they put themselves back in the game, most definitely, and yep. that's been a trend over the past couple of weeks now where we've seen a really strong third quarter uh, from them. Yep. Second half adjustments have definitely been prevalent. Games against Michigan State, Illinois, Minnesota now, and, and Michigan all spring to mind off the, the top of my head. So yep. finally, though, uh, definitely <laughs> much appreciated from our side and the photo side, bye week. Yes. No football for the first finally. time in eight weeks uh, since we started yeah. this crazy journey back in August. Nebraska sits at 3-5, and 1-4 and four in the Big Ten. Saturday had to feel like a missed opportunity in the conference standings, especially because Iowa lost, but that's yeah. neither here nor there. Right. Where does Nebraska go from here with four games remaining, three of those four coming against ranked teams now with Purdue jumping into the top 25, Nebraska's yeah. next opponent after beating Iowa? <laughs> So where do you think Nebraska can go from here? There's, I would like to say there's nowhere to go but up, but there's many places we can go that are still further down. <laughs> um, I, I have high hopes for the rest of the Nebraska season. Um, we do have a pretty stacked later season, but I think from what we've shown and like the break that they're getting, I think that. I think Nebraska has a very good chance to finish out the season strong. Yeah, it, it's certainly interesting hearing, you know, from my perspective, the journalistic perspective, hard news versus the fans' perspective. There is, you know, certainly a mm-hmm. case to be made that the Huskers could finish the season strong. Purdue is a team in good form, but also a team that Nebraska has been able to beat in recent years. Mm-hmm. Ohio State appears to be a buzzsaw. <laughs> so as vulnerable as that team looked earlier in the season, the likelihood of Nebraska beating them at Memorial Stadium certainly is slimming 
as the weeks progress and Ohio State continues to just dismantle teams in the Big Ten. Yeah. Wisconsin's an interesting one. Not really sure what to make of them. And then mm-hmm. I, an Iowa team that, again, has been very vulnerable. And no matter how Nebraska and Iowa seem to fare going into the season, it's going to be a close game. So I yep. certainly agree that there probably isn't many more low points Nebraska can have, <laughs> but based on what we've seen, we can't say that with 100% certainty. Right. But I do agree that there's there's definitely a chance for Nebraska to finish the season strong. So that, that's mm-hmm. a take that I, I can stand behind, I think. And yeah. the last thing that I had, I have my own opinions about this, but Nebraska needs to probably win three of its last four games to make a bowl game. Yes. Maybe two if things break funny and you know some five and seven qualifiers get Nebraska in. But right. all that aside, can Nebraska make a bowl game? You know, there is a non-zero chance that we make a bowl game. That's like <laughs> the best way I can put it right now. There's, I mean, there was a non-zero chance we beat top five ranked Oklahoma top 10 ranked Michigan. Michigan yes um and it almost happened like there's there's very good things that Nebraska has shown in like those games against ranked opponents and it was just a matter of a few plays going their way that would have turned the game around so I feel like if Nebraska is put in that scenario again and with this break that they have um I feel like they could turn that around, and I feel like they could. I feel like there's a very good possibility that they make a bowl game. Yeah, three wins of the last four is difficult, but Mm -hmm. if there's anything from a fan's perspective that you've seen from Nebraska, it's the ability to play up to the competition when the competition has been good. So that could be a silver lining. Who knows? Maybe Nebraska rips off a couple. For me, I have a difficult time seeing it right now, uh, especially having to go to Wisconsin, which has been pretty much a house of horrors for the Huskers, no matter how good or bad Wisconsin's been since they've entered the Big 12. Big 12. Big Big 10. Goodness. It's been a long week. I'm thinking about my undefeated Oklahoma State Cowboys. Anyways. Camp Randall's been a house of horrors for Nebraska. It's going to be very tough to go up there and win. Purdue is a very winnable game, and I think Iowa is certainly moving towards not very winnable, but more winnable. Uh, it's going Especially to be very interesting weekend. to see yeah. how where their heads are at after just a really head-scratching loss to Purdue. Yeah. It's not impossible, and maybe sneaking in at 5-7 and seven is certainly something, and I think that's an opportunity Nebraska would jump at. I'm going to quote the great Justin Bieber and say never say never on the bowl game front, but uh, great man to quote. reaching six <laughs> reaching six wins is going to be a very, very difficult ask. But yeah, yeah uh, I've asked you the questions, Evan. Do you have anything for me? Uh, what was your highlight? What was your highlight of the Minnesota trip? Good one. Yeah, that is. I, I took the multimedia and sports crew to one of my favorite taco places in Des Moines, oh, the yeah. Tasty Taco. 10 out of 10 would recommend. That was fun. But I do agree, agree that just the general aesthetic was in, of Minnesota in the fall was really cool. Mm-hmm. I was pretty impressed by the game day atmosphere, the areas that they had around the stadium of tailgates and things like that. It was a pretty fun environment. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I, I guess that would be my, my personal highlight of the Minneapolis trip. Good. Well, yeah, uh, this has been another episode of Husker Hot Takes. Thank you so much, Evan, for joining us. Stay tuned next week where we will have an actual game uh, to preview. That will be Nebraska's matchup against surprisingly ranked Purdue.